How you doing? And welcome to Who I Wear a Mask for Revere. My name, known as an artist, is Nick Spreen, but I am Brian Harkins, and I'm a local boy from the city of Revere. I came up with this project when I was talking to a friend of mine about, you know, who you wear your mask for, why you wear your mask, and not everyone has the same concept of why or should they wear a mask. Mine came down to simple, if you had to wear a mask for somebody, who would you wear it for? Later on, that person I was speaking with had a mask on with the name on it, and it gave me the idea. So I've been down on the beach where I'd walk up to people, tell them I'm a local artist, and who would you wear the mask for? I gave them an N95 mask, and they'd write the name on it, and I shot the photos. Eventually, I got over 150 individuals to take in, participate in the project. I made the banner. We're hanging it here for a bit. It's going to go over with the other banners that are mask and social distancing over on Shirley Ave near the Revere Beach Tea Station on the bridge going across. So the project's been a great thing. It's been received well, and a lot of individuals are starting to now go to, on Facebook, hashtag who I wear a mask for, Revere, and they're posting their own photos of themselves and who they wear a mask for. We have come full circle in this past year. This, this pandemic started early March of last year, and we have accomplished so much here as a city. This project was perfect. This project really made people start to really think about mask wearing and why wearing a mask was so important. For me, of course, I wear my mask every day. For me, I wore my mask for my dad. He just turned 86, and he's healthy, and he is now fully vaccinated, which I am thankful for. The good thing about partnerships is that vaccines are available not just through the city, but through places like CVS and East Boston Neighborhood Health Center and the hospitals who have vaccinated their, their um, patients. All of this means a lot of things. It means that we can't let our guard down yet. We still need to mask and we still need to social distance. Um, you know, more important than ever as we try to um, get herd immunity and get people to be able to take these masks off someday. One of the projects that was done recently is called Mask Up Revere. It's to take and spread the message to the diverse community that is Revere today. If you go to the Shirley Ave, to the Revere Beach Tea Station, going across the bridge, on the fence are six different banners, and they're in English, Spanish, Portuguese, Khmer, Arabic, and Moroccan. And what you can do is you can give a look. They're all local Revere photographs of different individuals or people together, and it's talking about why, in very simple statements, wear a mask, social distance. And you can go to revere.org backslash coronavirus and you'll be able to learn more information about why that is an important thing. Mask Up Revere. And visit my Facebook page, Mask Up Revere, and you'll learn a little bit more about it.